how to get there. There are jeepneys and UAV express vehicles near a farmer's market in Cubao that takes the Antipolo route. You might want to take the one that's going to Antipolo's in Bahas. Once you get there, get a tricycle and tell the driver to drop you off at Pinto Art Museum along Grand Heights Road. Pinto Art Museum is open on Tuesdays through Sundays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The grand entrance is 200 pesos if you are a normal citizen visiting the site, 180 pesos if you are a senior citizen and PWD, and if you are a student, it only costs 100 pesos. Pinto Art Museum, of course, is primarily intended to be a venue for showcasing art, but its peaceful setting along an expansive tree-covered hilly terrain coupled with its white arc buildings, landscaping, and layout in general has made it more than just about art. This art sanctuary is located inside Grand Heights Subdivision, a quite hillside subdivision in Antipolo Rizal. With a wide 1.2 hectare property, this Santorini inspired dwelling place houses seven modern and contemporary art galleries, an indigenous art museum, sculpture gardens, a chapel, two cafes, and not to mention a private residence inside this welcoming art place. Pinto has several interconnected galleries, housing all forms of contemporary art, paintings, sculpture, mixed media, and installation. Some works are familiar to me because I've come across other works from the artists concerned at art fairs. There is also a dedicated area for indigenous art along with the shop. Owner and collector Dr. Joe Benquanang erected this space to exhibit his well-loved collection of artworks. From famous and promising local artisans, the expansion like the main museum was designed by architect Antonio Tony Leano. They have also been collaborating on the development of Quanang Pinto Art Museum in Antipolo which has evolved into a major tourist destination. The museum manager, is Mikey Branco, explains that the undertaking didn't start out big. Dr. Kowanang first acquired a modest house and lot in the 70s, then opened the Pinto Gallery around 2000. Ten years later, they opened the Pinto Art Museum. The museum currently operates with any grant from the Philippine government and strive to remain self-supporting. With regard to this conversation, the art pieces are not preserved in air-conditioned buildings but are left to the natural elements. Ms. Mikey Blanco said, We recognize problems caused by weathering. Since we have no plans of changing the open air of structure, the future plan is to rotate the collection.